Ruby Kisses is supposed to be a dupe for the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've never used the Primer Potion, so I can't compare the two, but I really like this. My eyeshadow stays all day. My eyeshadow stays all day. My eyeliner doesn't smudge and end up up here in the crease somewhere. Plus this last pretty long. I purchased this twice now. First one lasts me for a year. I've had this since January, I want to say. And it's still going pretty strong. And this is on the expensive side. I normally don't buy stuff that costs more than like $15. But I heard that this was really good from a lot of people. And so, when the waterproof version came out, I decided I'd buy it, try it, I love it. I really like this stuff, it's on my eyelashes right now. This is also, again, on the expensive side, but I saw it. Put some eyeballs with that. But I saw it and I just had to try it. I really wanted to try a Tarte palette, and it was small, it was less than $43. I really like it, it stays pretty well, blends really well. I thought I'd buy it to travel with, even though it's probably not going to happen. I'll probably travel with a NYX palette instead, because I don't think I'm going to be putting a lot of makeup on. But I really, really love this. I try to use it daily, and again, I try not to because it's so pretty. How pretty it sits. So pretty. I had never tried a liquid lipstick before I bought these. Wait, no, that's not true. I bought one at Sephora that I didn't really like. I put it on my face. This one is the NYX Liquid Shade. Liquid Shade. The NYX Liquid Suede. And then. These ones are the soft matte lip cream. And this one is also on my eyes and my mouth right now. My mouth. My lips. Lips. These aren't supposed to be waterproof, but they are for some reason. The only thing that they don't really work well for is food. Like, it still stays on, but there's like maybe some in the middle of your lips and that's it. Maybe just me because I'm a really messy eater, but they don't stay on well for greasy food. So you can try and take me to me on the first date. So this is supposed to be the Naked 3 palette dupe. I did type the colors up on the inside on this one and in the buff. So if I look up a Naked 3 or Naked 2 palette tutorial, I can refer to the colors on here. I do like these. They're very pigmented. I've heard that the colors are very close. I haven't tried the Naked 3 or Naked 2 palettes because they're like $53 and this was 7 But I do like these. I use them a lot. I use this one especially on like Valentine's Day. This is the dupe for Naked 2. And like I said, I do like these. I've heard they're very close. I watched a lot of reviews on them before buying them. And these are like drugstore brands in England. Now I did say you can get these at TJ Maxx. <coughs> TJ Maxx. Um, I'm not exactly sure if that's true or not, but I have seen the W7 Cheeky palettes there. So I do know that they sell this brand. My TJ Maxx may not have the palettes because they're kind of new, don't really sell a whole lot of stuff, I feel like, because it's not the biggest TJ Maxx. They also found out me over, I bought, not a fight, but like an argument, if I bought a, one of those training brushes from there, and I was like, I bought it opening day. I know you have them, and they're like, no, we don't sell those. Yeah, you do. Chance. 
you can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm filming. You can't get on the bed right now. Sorry. I love you. So I found these on Amazon in an accident while I was looking for false lashes. And these are okay, these are human hair, and they're supposed to last like five to eight times. But I have a pair that I have out, and I've worn them like twelve times. And they're still pretty good. They're kind of falling apart, but not they're not that bad. They have a whole bunch of different styles. You can buy them in three packs for twelve dollars. I can't say twelve dollars. So these guys everything's so shiny. These guys I bought on Amazon for three bucks, four bucks. And I'm actually really sad because had them sitting out on my table as I was taking pictures of all this stuff and I lost one because I found one on my foot as I was walking across my room and so now I lost a pair of these but they last up to like I don't even know I would say 24 or more times they last a long time and they're really light I, I always feel like a lot of makeup artists say that the smaller bands are easier to start off with when you're first putting on lashes, but I feel like the thicker bands like this are a lot easier for me to put on personally. So when I first heard about this, I was really skeptical about it. I didn't really think it would be that great, and I didn't want to buy it. I heard everybody saying, Oh, this is the best lash glue ever. I was like, okay, whatever. It's fine. Well, I was in Sephora in California, and I saw it, and I was like, I eh, might as well get it. This one was like $13, though, because it's the bigger version, I guess. I really, really like it. It works really well. It stays on all day. The only thing is I don't like the clear ones because it doesn't dry clear. It dries white. I don't want a white band on my eyelashes supposed to I mean I know they're fake but I don't want them looking that fake it is pretty much the best lash glue ever I have to agree with that now <laughs>